Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're in San Antonio at the annual meeting of the Society for Thoracic Surgeons. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Nicholas Lopez, who is a leading cardiac surgeon at Baptist Health Paducah in Paducah, Kentucky. Dr. Lopez, it is great to see you and thanks for being with me today. Thank you for having me today. Yeah, so we have all these great things happening here at STS. We're also getting a lot of patient questions from our community. This one came in from Charlie and he asks, I had my aortic valve replaced with a 25 millimeter bovine tissue valve. If I need another heart surgery, could transcatheter aortic valve replacement, TAVR, be used to replace that valve? That's a great question. So sometimes knowing a little more about somebody actually helps to get a better answer. But in general, the larger the size of the valve, the better that valve is gonna fit that person. When that person is getting surgery, we absolutely wanna to try to size that valve to that person. And we have some measurements that we can get that valve to what we think they are. And of course, as surgeons, we try to upsize once if not twice to fit that person and give them a little more leeway and give them the most effective, efficient valve. If that valve is a 25, very likely a TAVR valve can be placed without much difficulty and still achieve a if highly efficient valve and not have some stenosis, which is what we do not want to have. Another solution that can be done is to sometimes uh, open that valve up with a balloon so we can make that valve larger. The term is called fracking, and that can allow us to squeeze in another valve that may be, may be too small for that individual. Well, Dr. Lopez, I was not familiar with fracturing a valve. Mm -hmm. Take it one step further. We just got another email literally five minutes ago from Valerie who has a 21 millimeter valve. Is that still something fracturing that could be applied to that valve? Absolutely. When you start looking at the different valves available, a 19 millimeter tends to be the smallest tissue valve, a 21 the next size up. That valve may be perfectly appropriate for her. The problem is as you start getting toward the smaller size available valves, sometimes that valve may not be the most effective valve with another valve placed within it because at the end of the day, it'll be slightly smaller inside every time. So that's where you can go ahead and take a balloon and literally crack open the actual rim of that valve. And then that gives us new space to go ahead and put a valve that's appropriate for her. Wow, what an innovation. And Charlie, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me and Dr. Lopez on behalf of the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world. Thanks to you and your team at Baptist Health Paducah in Paducah, Kentucky. Thanks for being with Thank me today. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.